Hey what's up everybody and welcome to a review of Precision Series Lightning McQueen. Now I originally thought I'd make a video of all the Precision Series singles together which are Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, and Ramon but then I realized these are the Precision Series cars and are extremely detailed and therefore deserve a one-on-one -on -one exclusive video. And when I made the voting poll two weeks ago the second most requested video was Precision Series Lightning McQueen. So here we have them. First we're going to take a look at the packaging and what he comes in right here and then we'll take a look at him loose out of the package. So I got mine from Get Me Collectibles along with the other two Precision Series singles and those reviews should be coming out within the next month or so. It just depends on what videos I want to do first. We'll see what happens. And the only other ways you can get these Precision Series singles are through Amazon for $11.99 or at Toys R Us for $10.99. I definitely recommend Amazon because it's more of a sure thing. They're all in stock. There's a plenty, there's plenty of them on Amazon. Whereas Toys R Us, you may not find them. And personally, I haven't found them yet either. So, I mean, you may have a chance of finding them for a dollar cheaper, but Amazon is not that bad. Plus, you get it shipped to your doorstep. So, pretty good deal there in my opinion. So, on the front here, we can see the Cars logo along with Precision Series right there. And McQueen comes in this nice acrylic clear case, which you can also just take out of this black cardboard here and display it separately, which I bet a lot of collectors will be doing that because this this cardboard right here may come damaged. You got the same logo on the side here as you do up here. And on the back here, it's nice that the Mattel provides some information about Lightning McQueen. It says custom built 2006 race car. Also V8 racing engine with 750 horsepower and reaches 200 miles per hour on straightaways. Now my only really question or whatever on this is 2006 race car, which wouldn't that mean he was born in 2006, which to me doesn't make much sense, but well, we really know about the cars world and how cars come into the world, I guess you could say. Now what huge disappointment about McQueen here is that they provided an image of Cars 2 World Grand Prix Lane McQueen when obviously the car that's actually in the case is Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. So I was very disappointed about that. It's a simple fix they could do. It's literally just going through the right pictures and pasting the right one on the background here, which the background looks really nice. I'm glad that they provided this nice neon nighttime scene of Radiator Springs. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy that they did that. Just really disappointed about the Lightning McQueen art right there. And it also signifies in the bottom left hand corner that this is an adult collector and it's not really meant to be played with or used as a toy. So I'm going to take this guy out of the package and, and, you, and as you can see he also comes with a little license plate thing right here or tag. So we'll take a look at that more when I get him out of the package. I just wanted to quickly show what the acrylic case looks like outside the packaging. So it was super easy to slip it out of this packaging right here. All I had to do was cut the tape on one of these ends right here and it easily just came right on out. So very nice if you want to preserve this cardboard right here. I really don't care. This is what I'm really excited about. So nothing really too special that you didn't see already, but it does say Precision Series on this uh, right here. It says Precision Series, and that's all the that's all that's changed from inside the packaging there. So now I'm gonna take McQueen out of this acrylic case. Okay, that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I got McQueen off easy peasy. Now I tried to get this license plate off right here and it wasn't coming. And I figured that I may have to turn the little knob right here, which is uh, this thing right here. It's like connected. I thought I turned it left. So I started turning it and it seemed like it got a little loose. Then it just wasn't budging anymore. So I had to go get tweezers and like turn this thing out. And it finally came out. I think it's worth it. This thing's pretty cool. All right, I finally got everything out of the package here. So 
Let's first take a look at the license plate or name tag, whatever you want to call it. It's actually really, really nice. This is like a quality metal right here. It's not plastic, which I thought it would be. It's actually a nice quality metal. I feel like this is painted on here very nicely. So as you can see, it's got 95 with the lightning bolt and it says Lightning McQueen right there. Very, very nice. You could like hook this on your keychain if you want, but I wouldn't recommend this. I probably, myself, I'm just going to put it with my Precision Series Lightning McQueen. Now on the back here, we get the same information that was provided on the package, except it says 750 horsepower, but it also says almost 200 miles per hour and 500, to 500 feet to pounds of torque at 6500 rpm now since i don't really know much about race cars and cars themselves actual cars i really don't know what that means but it sounds good and there you actually have the correct art for lightning mcqueen i don't know why they couldn't have put this picture right here on the package no idea and there of course you got lightning mcqueen's name so very nice i'm glad that they included that license plate there very nice addition so now let's take a look at precision series lightning mcqueen himself so overall he's got like a glossy spectra flame paint i don't know if it'll show up much on the camera you really have to be in person to see the spectra flame and like the glitter gloss uh, on him it just looks really nice so that's a great plus on him and look at that base it looks awesome now i know there was some sort of john lasseter signature series lightning mcqueen that also has a nice painted base but this is the only one i have and i love it this looks amazing i love how they painted all this stuff here silver and that's orange it looks great and it's very heavy it's like both metal base metal body and of course you've got rubber tires here which i don't know they don't really feel like your generic rubber tires that are on like the piston cut racers or anything else with rubber tires they feel more plasticky but i'm sure they're actually rubber and you can see on that lighting right there you can see that they actually have treads which is an awesome addition as well i love that and i'm not a big fan of the rims on here they look all right and you can see it has light year, got that red inner rim, and now has the addition of this yellow outer rim, which was not on the regular Lane McQueen right here. Now, I, there's been a lot of mixed opinions about this I've been seeing on social media. A lot of people don't like it because it looks like the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lane McQueen with that yellow rim, which is incorrect. Now, in the beginning of Cars, it does show him with like this yellow rim where there's also like another decal. I personally don't have a preference. It looks all right with me. The only thing I would have done is probably make it a little bit thinner. I feel like it's too thick. I feel like this yellow should be a little bit lighter and shouldn't be as prominent on the rim there. It basically should be all red. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Now, there also has been some other complaints about his size and proportions. Now, this is not the same model of McQueen that you see here on the right and left. This is a brand new model. As you can kind of see, it looks a little chunkier and taller, and you're correct. I mean, it is. If you can kind of see it right there, it's a little bit taller. Um, I don't know why they changed this. I, I really do not know, but it looks pretty, uh, it looks all right. I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like they should have kept with the same model, just so it seems like an upgraded version rather than kind of like a, a new, I don't know really what to call it, but I feel I would have preferred if they kept it with this McQueen right here because it just seems a little weird doesn't it guys like it just kind of looks out of proportion it's a little bit chunkier in my opinion but we do get this opening hood feature right here which is awesome there also was another Lightning McQueen that had an opening hood which is the uh, sepia time travel Lightning McQueen which I will provide a little clip up here about that comparing the two now this is phenomenal this really is what makes mcqueen great here you've got this chrome paint right there on the engine and you've got some red detailing here also goes back further into the engine which just looks phenomenal a smooth opening and closing right here very nice uh, it's nothing rough or forced. You don't feel like you're going to break it when you try to open it. So very nice indeed. I'm really liking this McQueen despite its con 
times, it's still a great car, and I'm glad that Mattel finally decided to release a higher scale up version of the cars. And I really hope they do some more of these in the future, and they, they said they would. I kind of am doubtful, I don't really know what they'll do, but we'll see how far this Precision Series line gets. So what do you guys think about Precision Series Lightning McQueen right here? Is he a cool car, is he just alright, or is he... You know, uh, bad, <laughs> completely horrible. In my opinion, I think he's pretty cool, and they even gave him a new expression there that really shows a lot more personality, in my opinion, than this one, although both do show quite a bit of personality. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a suggestion video. See you guys then. Bye now.